Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, whenever and wherever you're watching this video from. I believe you are doing okay. So in this video, I'm going to solve this question, question 7A of 2024 Mathematics Paper 2. This is internal, of course, grade 12. Now, this is under mensuration. This question is... Uh, is a rectangular based pyramid okay so the base is a rectangle and this is a pyramid we are asked to calculate the perpendicular height and the volume at the end um, after finding the perpendicular height we are asked to calculate the volume of this pyramid take note guys this is not a, this is not the first time this is a complete the full pyramid so you need to take note of few things before you even start calculating now check let me explain a few things before you even what start calculating know this this mv is the perpendicular height okay then these other heights are called slant heights are we together very good now to calculate mv to calculate MV here, we need to know, we need to know, because, look at this. To calculate MV, we need to know M what? MQ. So the, it, it is forming a right angled what? Triangle. Are we together? A right angled triangle. So we use Pythagoras what? Theorem. We're going to say we need to use this mq okay mq is the here is 90 degrees by the way it's 90 degrees so it's forming a right angle triangle so you have mq here then we v vq and then mv okay so just getting this uh getting this cutting that one is in the form of this right angle triangle so we have the hypotenuse we don't know this side and this side so first we're going to find, we need to find this side, okay? We need to find this side, that's when you can find M what? MV. Now check, I mean, yes, MV. What is MQ? Check, MQ is half of uh, SQ. Are we together? And it's a right what? A right angle triangle. So just getting the base here to find SQ, we can use this, all right? So here is 6 centimeters, even this side is what? 60 centimeters. If here is 8, it means also here is what? 80 centimeters. Check. To find SQ, we're going to use the Pythagoras theorem, which is C squared is equals to A squared plus B what? Plus B squared. C squared is a hypotenuse, so we're going to say SQ, okay? This side, okay? SQ squared is equals to a squared let's get um, eight eight squared then plus six squared so to find the sq squared eight squared is 60 what 64 then six squared is 30 36 all right so sq squared is equals to 64 plus 36. We're going to find 100. Then we square root both sides. We're going to find SQ to be the square root of 100 can either be positive or what? Or negative. Now, since we are dealing with the sides or length, we are only getting the positive size. So we're going to get 10 centimeters. All right? Now, Check. From here up to here is 10 what? 10 centimeters. Meaning, M, if M is the midpoint here, then, then MQ is 5. It's just half of this. All together. Therefore, MQ is equal to 5 centimeters. Because it is half of what? Half of, half of uh, 10. Now, Having found the MQ here, let's substitute MQ 
Q as 5 centimeters, we can find the perpendicular what? Perpendicular height using the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so C squared is equals to A squared plus B squared. C squared is the hypotenuse, which is VQ. Okay, so I'm going to substitute with uh, VQ squared is equals to, what is our A? Let's take this one as our A, MQ, MQ squared plus, what is our B? B, let's get B as, as MV squared. Let's hope you are following. If you are, in, if you are now getting, under, if you are understanding up to this point, let's give us a like and subscribe. Are we together? Now, let's proceed. From here, check. VQ is 13, so it will be 13 squared is equals to MQ is 5, so it is 5V squared. What is MV? It's just MV squared. Remember to square it. Are we together? Very good. You are nice people. What is 13? What is 13 squared? It's 169. 169 is equals to 5 squared is 25 plus mv squared. Then we can collect the right terms. So we can say 169 minus 25 is equals to mv squared. Okay? Then 169 minus 25 is 144 is equals to mv squared check we are asked to find we are asked to find the perpendicular height mv not mv squared are we together very good very good you are wise so we can square root both sides so this square root and this one square root, the two and the square root symbol cancel then we can say therefore mv is equals to what is the square root of 144? The square root of 144 can either be positive 12 or negative 12. But which one are we going to get here? We are going to get the positive value because we can't have negative distance. Are we together? Very good. You are wise. You are intelligent, my friends. Now, so we're going to get 12 centimeters. And this is the final answer. Okay. Now, let's get back to our question. You see, when you just look at when you just just look at this, this is confusing when you just solve like this. But if you understand the concept of perpendicular height, slant height, then um, the base, then that will be what? It will be easy. Are we together? It will be very very easy. So come up, just sketch quickly, sketch, then you start solving. All right. This is question seven a Roman numero one. Okay, I've done this so that you under what you understand. Are we together? Let's go to the next T. Next question. The next question is saying calculate calculate the volume of the pyramid. Ah, this is simple. The volume of the what? The volume of the pyramid. This is two. So volume is equals to one over three times base area times height. Now this height is not just the height, it's perpendicular, perpendicular height. Are we together? Perpendicular height. So if you found this one wrong, automatically even this one, you're just wasting your time in the final exam, you uh, will find it what? Wrong. So volume is equals to 1 over 3 times what is the base area? Remember, this is a rectangle. A rectangle, so it will be B, uh, A or B, okay? A or times Z, A or times B, length times Z, breadth. Okay, A or times Z, B, times Z, H. The H here is the perpendicular what? Perpendicular height. Let me just write the capital letter. Yeah, H. So let's just substitute. Volume is equals to one third times length. So the length here is 8 centimeters. Then um, 8 centimeters, the breadth 6 centimeters. So I'm going to say 8 times 6 
times the height, which is 12 here, perpendicular height, times 12. Okay? All right. So, volume is equals to... Okay. 3 can go into 6. All right? Or into 12, whichever way. Okay, 3 into 6, it is 2 times. So, we have 8 times 2 times 12. All right? So, here, just use a calculator. This is mathematics paper 1. This is mathematics paper 2. So, you can just say 8 times 2. Okay, 8 times 2 times 12. 190 what? 192. 192. The units, centimeters or cubic centimeters. And this is the answer. If you've enjoyed the way I have explained this question, guys, just... um. Give me a like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. This is the only way you can help the channel grow. Are we together? So this is the solution.